Good evening people. I just wanted to do a video on dripping with temperature control. Now what I have made here is was it eight wraps of NI two hundred pure nickel. So ooh, let me zoom out. So right here we have what I used, what I have left. So I decided to make zippers out of it because I really like the vapor production and the flavor off of it. Here's the second one that I couldn't use because it's too low of a resistance still. So I'll just have to show you off of a single coil setup and my whiteout DNA 200. See what we have here is 70 watts, 0 0.03, and it is set at 515 degrees with a, I guess you can call it the ramp up, is set at 125 watts to preheat. So we're going to see how this works in, in the vapor production and all that good stuff. So I'm going to change the view. So I guess we'll do vapor production, how much vapors it puts out and all that stuff and how cool the vape is because I know it's pretty cool but we'll see. stays really cool. As you can see it puts off a fair amount of vapors. And the flavors on point using that luck from uh, the cloud junkies. Really good stuff. And right now they're having a flash sale. It's like 11 bucks for 120 mil. Can't go wrong with that. And I like that. And Lost is my other favorite flavor along with Haze. And berry and ohms is really good too. It's like a strawberry. And then I also have their Rice Krispie treats coming, and then like a sort of peanut butter and jelly. I'm curious to see what that tastes like. So, I mean, what you could buy uh, 30 mil at the store, you can get 120 mil, and it's max VG. It's really good. I plan on doing a video on stainless steel. I guess I'll make a set of zippers out of them too because it's quick and easy and I really like those coils. They work great. So I'll probably post that and put it up there and if you have any questions or comments, just let me know. And follow me on Instagram under Mangle Meditation. See, I, I'll just give you a brief story. I started off on uh, temperature control. I went for a little pencil cigarette looking thing and it just didn't quite do it for me. I was up at like 24 milligram and nick. So I decided to step up my game, so to speak. And I got an EVIC VT, which is a self battery contained and does temperature control. And I had a Kanger sub tank with it and I started building nickel coils and titanium coils. And that's what I did for the, oh shit six to eight months, maybe even a year, until I bought my first RDA, which was this Messes version one, and started with a twisted set of 26 gauge, I think it was like dual eight wraps, and I never went back, and then I was on Canthal and Nichrome and stainless steel ever since then, but now I was just like, I'm gonna try temperature control on a dripper again. I mean, I tried it with like titanium before, on like a Fishbone Plus, but it just wasn't quite what I was looking for, so I moved on. So anyway, that's my story on why I'm doing what I'm doing. I just do this in order to make it cheaper for myself, and I really enjoy building and sharing with others. So if I can help anybody, it works for me. Right, peace.